What's up, Laker fans? I'll be making videos in the lead up to training camp this season that focus on an aspect of a Lakers game that I believe will be important to how their season goes. And today's topic is Max Christie's on-ball defense, with a focus on how he defends in isolation. Max is more of a containment defender on the ball rather than someone who applies a lot of ball pressure. It does vary a bit depending upon the matchup, but generally speaking, Max's plan of attack seems to be to play off of his man, move his feet to stay in front of them, and then use his length to contest the jumper. Not only does he contest high, he also contests early, often getting his hand up well before the shooters release their jumper, disrupting their shooting stroke, and occasionally even blocking the shot. The way he contests jumpers is my favorite part of his game on the defensive end. But ball handlers who can go through his chest give him a lot more problems. And that's how many opponents look to attack him. Whenever Jordan Clarkson had Max on him in this game, for example, he never looked for his jumper, he just looked to attack his chest, eventually working his way deep into the paint. Devin Booker's approach was similar in this game, but his were more shoulders and forearms that shed Max. And some taller players will just eat up the space that Max gives them and finish over the top either at the rim or on a pull-up jumper. Max's length gets neutralized when he's backpedaling with his arms up. That's why I think Max is best at guarding shorter ball handlers that don't have the strength to bump him off. You see here how Max is an ideal matchup for CJ McCollum, for example. He can give McCollum space, and McCollum isn't strong enough to go through Max's chest. And then when he rises up for the jumper, Max quickly closes the distance. But you have to be able to move your feet to be able to stay in front of a lot of those smaller guys. His best game of the season in this respect was against Cleveland. Donovan Mitchell had just come back from injury, but Max's ability to dance with him in open space was really impressive. Max can get beat with speed attacks, but I'd say it's less common with him than a lot of other younger guards with his build. But he is more vulnerable to hesitation dribbles, biting on fakes, or other unpredictable changes of direction. It's fairly easy for savvy guards to get him shifting his weight in one direction and then attack him in the other. So as much as I like Max on smaller ball handlers, I don't think it's a situation where you can just put him on any smaller guard and he'll excel. Max's pick and roll defense is outside the scope of this video, but many of the same strengths and weaknesses show up there too. I think Max's ideal defensive role is in lineups where he's guarding the second best ball handler, ideally alongside Vando or Gabe. But he's likely to get a decent number of minutes in lineups where he's asked to guard the opponent's best ball handler. Part of the reason why I like someone else as the main point of attack defender next to Max is because I think Max's best defensive attribute is his ability to close out to shooters. He's active and engaged off of the ball and can get out to a shooter quickly. And those high and early contests are really useful here. And he's also capable of stopping his momentum and sliding his feet to recover if the shooter attacks the closeout. Those are my observations on Max's isolation defense. Let me know in the comments what you see from him in this respect, and on the defensive end in general. Laker Film Room is dedicated to helping you experience the Lakers and the game of basketball on a deeper level. If you'd like to support the work I do, you can do so at the Patreon or Buy Me A Coffee links below. And please join me on Playback this season where I'll be calling Laker games. Alright, that'll do it for this one. I'll catch you guys next time.